Greetings and salutations once again everyone. Welcome back to more Borderlands Legacy. Last episode we made to New Haven after struggling with bosses and side quests in this episode. Well, we have power to turn on. Which is the main goal of this area. This area will have a ton of side quests. Just as you guys know this will be a side quest every episode I believe. That will be an episode where I speed up to side quests. And then you guys will just see me at the boss or something. But we also got some new toys. Tons of new weapons and stuff like that. And we'll be getting more weapons as well. Now this area is huge for Hub area. There will be a ton of chests just all about. I'll be showing them as I come by as I come by them. There'll also be a claptrap mission here, I believe, so there'll be a couple of good things. To keep an eye out for. This area, it basically tells you about exploration on Pandora. Like up here there's a chest and you get rewarded for parkouring your way up there. Like you get a scope to Peter as well as up. But if you want to get like good weaponry, this is the place to do it really. You can't really do one, you know. There are other loot rooms in the game, like areas of a bunch of chests. But this area is quite good in terms of how it works. Like, if you really want to get an early game legendary, I would say this is the place to check. Because you can get legendary from any chest in this game. However, the purely white ones do give you more. And those are the ones you want to keep an eye out for. In fact, there's one right here, like, keep an eye out for them, you might find a legendary or two. And I might be doing that off recording from this point on, just to see if I can get a better weapon. We'll see. Basically, I'm going to focus on these story quests for now, because that's going to give us more and more missions. Ah, another way you can farm legendaries is to always check the vendors, basically. Always check it out and you may find something. And we've also got a couple of cool details, like I believe. Yeah, Marcus is here. The guy dropped us off on the bus and he's basically just here now as a salesman. I believe he'll have side quests at some point in the story, but we'll see. But I'm going to focus on the story missions. I believe they're all about leaving New Haven. Ah, we have to talk to Tannis at the dig site. Okay, you know what? Let's just do that then. Start going through the game at a normal pace. Just trying to remember where the chests are because I believe there is a red rarity chest. Usually, there's supposed to be better stuff, but a ball has one, the rarity chest doesn't typically mean much. Except for the very end game. Which yeah, it wants to talk to Patricia Tanz who was speaking on us last episode. Basically the doll scientist that we heard about through the Echoes Back and Firestone. He's just doing a whole bunch of studies. Oh yeah, we also have a shock artifact Do we got. This is quite handy. Basically, I don't think there's many enemies in this game that do resist explosions. But if you don't want to have to worry about fame, if you don't have to worry about any fire enemies being resistant, you could just use the explosive element. I probably will just be swapping from element to element every so often, just when the situation calls for it. It's pretty cool a little set in the game, it's like, just match the element to the weakness. And that's how she does. And of course, same will always check the vendors. But doing much there. I 
and it will be say Chris in this area so it will be a gauntlet type arena which I'm probably going to cut it out or if I do I'm, I'm going to speed it up fast and everything else because you guys see me doing arena type thing already there's a whole ton of them in the game based on different enemies and all that like we dealt with the skag one the one in this area is based on bandits it will be tougher than the previous one for absolutely sure the first thing I'm going to do, we could go see Tannis. But you can also go over here because of his chest. You will be required to go here later on, but may as well check the chest. After all, the Borderlands loot is keen, and you want to keep searching. Like, you can add those powerful stuff to the end of the game, but the loot is what you're mostly after. And here we are, red chest. Now there is one I skipped over, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, there's a chest over there and a bridge. I will be getting that soonish. But we want to meet with Tannis, get some story stuff done. And once there's enough side quests, I'll be able to. I won't have to worry and can just go through the side quests at my own pace. So there will be a time where I'll be under leveled, but might be able to kill something. But that's just, you know, how the ball lands work. Now, in this area, we have some enemies to deal with. We should, anyways. We have Spider Man's. I don't think we dealt with them before. Basically, you want to flank them. They have a hard shell on the front. They're not susceptible to melee damage, though. But they're susceptible to many types of damage, but basically, the whole goal is to flank them. I guess, badass better man right here. If you shoot him in the front, I believe you will take damage. So you want to do is something like that. As you can see, just sort of flank, flank him, hit him with maybe a good shotgun or something. It would be grand. Now this area has some chests up there. You can see right over there there was a chest. We'll talk to Tannis first because you'll want to send us somewhere down. Grab the chest on my way out. Now this area is full of ashes. Honestly, my recommendation? Get a weapon if you want to level up the proficiency up. And just go to town on them. Because that's honestly not bad for farming weapon proficiency. Not amazing, but not bad either. But here's Tannis. She wants us to meet a fella called Crazy Earl. Crazy Earl is a bit of a recurring character. In fact, I think it's in every Borderlands game except for the pre sequel. Maybe, maybe not. He might actually be in the pre sequel though. I'm trying to think that I don't find, I don't see a reason for him to be in the pre sequel. And the reason I'm shooting is blood wax. I'm hoping one will just drop some good loot. And there's no Firefly class mod, all sorts of stuff. There you go. Take care of those wax for blood's no issue. I'm hoping to make a fair amount of story progress. If I get to a point where I'm under leveled and can't do something, I will just speed up the side quests. So don't worry about that. You guys may be thinking I'm just trying to get these episodes to 20 minutes, and that's kind of the point. Remember by the time I upload episode 1, I'll have episode 10 recorded. 
Because there's one thing worrying me about this last place so far, but we'll deal with it when we get to it. You guys probably know what it is already. It's just a whole copyright thing, because this game might have some copyright stuff of it. I'm hoping not. But if it does, then the series will just be cancelled, so that's why I'm recording 10 episodes. Because if I lose all his progress, I'll still have the character. So I won't be that worried because I will still have the character in the end. But there's the other chest, but there's nothing there. Oof. Jack, I was in too much of an issue. I just ran into his face and shot him. There will be a bit of a strategy, I guess. But this episode should be episode 9, I want to say. And obviously episode 10, once I record it, I'll be uploading the first episode. I want to stay ahead of the series, like I said, there will be hiatuses here and there. But it's like having a good start, you know. Just because. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'd rather just have to fire on them right now. And that's why. Explosive element is all, is a jack of all trades. Whereas if you, wait, if you match the right element, you'll be good. Maybe I a crazy old scrapyard. There will be a quest to go for here, but we discovered a scrapyard, which is an achievement for some reason. Nothing there. Oh no, as you can see there, that's a hunter class mod with 75% sniper rifle for critical damage. Which that is fantastic. If I was playing a character Mordecai, that would be perfect for him. Now, that's still have a good class mod there for me. That's kind of how that works in this game. You will just sometimes find the stuff you're looking for on other characters. Is it annoying when it happens? Yeah, it's just a smidge. But that's the way it just happens. I've been having luck like that all the time in, in the Borderlands where I'll be looking for something and I won't get it on the character I'm playing as, I'll get it someone else. There we are. Going through those enemies pretty easily. Oh yeah. Don't want you to shoot those spells. <laughs> sort of a puzzle, I guess. But here we are. I believe the story mission is get off my lawn. Which is. Don't want you to kill Spider-Mans and Bandits. Yeah, Crazy was a bit of a recurring character. In this game, he's simply an NPC. But he has other purposes in the other games. I don't think in any of the other games he gives you a side quest. It's the only one where he does so. Which, think about it now in hindsight, kind of a shame. But I think the whole reason is that they don't want him to be a super fleshed out character. But there's a red chest over here now, so we want to get that. This guy deal with a parkour this game. But 
I'm going to check out some of the days. Shoot that bow. As you can see, that's the game, you know, having good design for how to fight certain enemies. Again, use anything to your advantage. Yeah, it could be seen a bit cheap using bows. But you ever said it was cheap? Now this area is a sniper's dream right now. If you want to level up a sniper, this is a good place to do it. But as if you have a skill, if you have something like this elephant gun, which I got from the killing, what's it? Skagzilla, I think it was called. But yeah, it's a pretty good gun. It's a Jacob's variant, so I may as well say now since you have a first Jacob's variant of a gun. Jacob's are all about hitting the enemy in the face and making them explode. High crit damage essentially for all of them. If you're talking about last three, they still have high crit damage. And they're all about having additional effects for landing crits. But in this game, it's just basically aim at the head and fire. Unfortunately, we've got a bit of an issue here with this corrosive skag. Yeah, it's going to keep trying to fire stuff at us. And because it's a corrosive skag, it's going to have amazing accuracy. But hey, this got level up. But yeah, bad skags are a bit of a nuisance because you can't be too close, but you can't be too far. And you have to figure out what way the AI is going to try and kill you. I mean, we already have a Jacob's variant, the Sledger Shotgun. I, never, I don't think I stated when I got a Sledger Shotgun. I always thought it was a different thing, a different manufacturer. Okay, what do we got? Genocide Pounder and another sniper. Oh, not a sniper, a revolver, but it's a fire one. Yep, so he's not let me equip it. So I should drop a couple of things. I'm gonna equip that as a new revolver. More damage than my one. And it's fire, so it's gonna be useful. There'll be a ton of flesh based enemies during this area. That's the way it goes. But now I even have a fire weapon. I'm gonna be using whatever has higher damage for the most part, by the way. I'm just gonna say that right now. It would be smart to have specific weapons at certain points, but. This, this is what I like about the ball ass, you know, pick up and use a gun. It ain't rocket science. Need to hit that. Just need to be a bit careful to say this part of the game can be just a little bit hectic. As long as I don't remember how I handled it before. 
I think this area is always being like this area. This is the only time we're really coming back. Well, this is the only time we're going for this area because I think all it only gives you is one story quest, and that's it. There we go. There we go. Take care of him and set him on fire. And the thing about Jacobs, they usually don't have elemental damage. I say usually because Borderlands 3 mixed up that for a minute and gave a couple of Jacobs guns an element. I say a couple because they're all just really rare weapons. I only have to kill one more band of which. Oh yeah, it would be up there. Why do I want me to grab the stuff then? I just want to band this clear anyways. Maybe not. I'm dead. You can't move while in fight for your life. So that's annoying. That's weird. Right, but they want you to head up there and grab Fane. Oh, try to spawn cap me then, game. You get a B minus for effort. Right, so yeah, they do want to go back to old, but today's lesson, high explosives. You just see for a charge, you just need to head up there. And of course, this area, you can just be careful, fight through it like normal. And a fair amount of time, you should just be grand. But obviously, I don't want to have to, you know, do a 20 minute video of me finding through this area, which is why I'm watching it at the moment. Now, I believe there's a chest that's supposed to open up once you do this quest. So I'm going to try and clear out this bit. Punch in the face. Ah, it's this chest here, this red one. It would be locked if you didn't do this quest. Well, it wouldn't be locked, it should be blocked off. But obviously, more loot, the better. Ooh, we got... A new mercy class mod, 40% SMG damage, which mine is 44 with 3 and quicks over 2 in high velocity. Nah, the one I have I think is better for that extra 4% damage alone. And now you guys could say 4% doesn't mean much, I used to be that way as well. It's just a matter of preference really. But the more damage you have, the better. Put one back to O and I believe they want us to go back to Helena Pierce. That or Tannis, one or two. Nothing there. Yeah, I really should have been careful about those battles. <laughs> I just decided I'd rather have to move a speed. Pick balls of booze and bad as a treacherous landing. Yeah, I want to go all the way back there, so let me just check how long the recording has been. Yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. 
next time we'll be getting more of those balls, and I'll see you guys then.